Yo, have you ever felt like in a rush? Like I, there's so many times where I felt like I was in a rush, right? And the reason why I felt like I was in a rush is because I wasn't ahead of the game. And I'll, I'll explain to you a little bit later here, but uh, hi, my name is Jonathan Fan Fan. And um, the reason why I created this whole channel is because I believe that there's people out there that's looking to transform, whether it's a physical appearance, whether it's a mental, whether it's spiritual, whatever, you're here for a reason because you want to transform. And uh, here are three uh, reasons why you should be ahead of the game. And which leads me to the next thing. This is why you're feeling like you're rushed. This is why you're feeling like you're scattering over. Like, have you ever like woke up and you, you know, woke up late and now you're saying, oh my gosh, I need to get ready. I need to brush my teeth. I need to put my clothes on, my socks on, my shoes on. Then you get in the car and then um, you forgot to get your breakfast. And then you're like, oh, you know what? I'll stop at Mickey D's. I know you not, might not supposed to be going to Mickey D's, but you're doing it anyways because you're in a rush and you're going to fast food or maybe a Starbucks, wherever. Then you get into the traffic and then someone's cutting you off. Then you're getting pissed off. Then you <laughs> forgot that you left your report at the house. You know, there's this thing, all these different things that are running through your mind and maybe you didn't wear the boxes you're supposed to wear you know what i'm saying like stuff like that or you know your, your shirt's wrinkly whatever there's so many things that happen that causes you to feel like you're in an urgent state of mode and when that happens your mind is so cluttered because you have so much things that are going on and um so here, here's three reasons why it's important to stay ahead of the game all right so number one so that way you don't have the anxiety right so number one the reason why you don't want the reason why you want to be ahead of the game is so that you uh decrease your anxiety because at, at the end of the day we all get anxious of stuff you know let's be honest even if we're excited about something we're anxious like let's just say you have a new toy you know let's just say you know i got the lamborghini outside and i'm you know or or i'm at the lamborghini de dealership getting ready to make my purchase i'm excited i'm anxious to buy it and i'm ready to drive it and push that button right so number one you're gonna decrease your anxiety okay um number two so that way you could lower your stress anxiety and stress is the same thing but stress is something like man i'm stressed out like look look at the difference all right look at look at the difference man i'm stressed out bro you know what I'm saying then you got the hair losing and stuff like that you know what i'm talking about so uh hello can you hear me <laughs> so number one lower your anxiety is you know say so yeah, you're not anxious you're not like oh my gosh oh my gosh number two so you can lower your stress and number three so you have mental clarity so you could perform well now i know that's a little bit longer than the other two but mental clarity what does that look like now that I've, let's just say you have to be out of the house by eight o'clock so you can make it through that stupid traffic <laughs> that you have to go through to make it to your work by nine o'clock. I don't know if you work from home or if you work uh, somewhere 30 minutes, whatever. But if you have to physically go into your vehicle, whether even if you do real estate or whatever it is, you got to show houses. So you have to go through traffic regardless. Whatever you do, if you have, if you know you have to leave your home by eight o'clock or whatever time. You got to make sure you wake up and start your day earlier. You know, that's why what I do is I create a routine, which um, I might link one of the videos. You might find it here, 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 wherever. But um, my point is this. Decrease the amount of anxiety, lower the amount of stress and have a mental clarity. Those three things right here are the reasons why you should be ahead of the game. You know, we, we like to call it ahead of the eight ball, being ahead of the eight ball, meaning that when life throws you little curveballs, you're able to uh, 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 dodge back. Right. Like even this morning, um, there are some curveballs. And I'm like, man, if I would have just started a little bit, a little tad bit earlier, I would have been gravy. I would have been all good to go. Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? So I encourage you with this, guys. Focus on being ahead of the game, basically proactive. You know, that which is one of the habits out of the seven habits of the highly effective people. That's a shameless plug. Um, if you want, I can link the book down below so you can see it, you can read it and you can share it with someone because that's what someone did to me. You know, let's just talk about paying it forward real quickly. Um, someone uh, that I was working with a long time ago when I was going to the office, uh, I worked for customer service and um, one of the customer service agents, um, he's like, you know what? You seem like a guy that 
would appreciate personal development. Have you ever checked out Steve Covey's book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People? I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't, but I will because you recommended it and you thought of me. So he bought it for me. And I was like, man, that, that's dope of you. I read it and man, listen, it literally changed my life. Being proactive is something that, first of all, you got to be in game with the end in mind. And which I mentioned before, this reason for this channel, um, again, my name is Jonathan Fanfan, and this is Fit With Fan, right? The reason for this channel is to help transform, basically personal develop, basically help you improve into all these things and all these areas that you're looking to serve in or better yourself in, right? So just be proactive. I said all that to say, be proactive. You know what I'm saying? Like I said all of that to unpack and say, be proactive, that's it. Okay. Listen, if you have any questions about, you know, what we went over, anything that you, you know, you want to reach out. Cause I, I don't know about you, but there's some goals that I wanted to accomplish back in the day. Um, one of them was fitness, um, losing weight. I was able to th drop like 30 pounds within less than 60 days. So if you have any questions about that, or if you want to know how I was able to basically cut off, uh, <laughs> an addiction that was literally held me back from a lot of things. You know, I was addicted to a few things and I won't get into details, but if you need help, if you're struggling with any of those areas, I'm here to connect with you. Okay. God loves you. I love you. And listen, that's enough, but go ahead and do yourself a favor, subscribe, share this with someone that might be struggling or who needs to hear this, that being proactive, being ahead of the game will help you be more productive and help you be more fluid and help you be more clear so you can reach the destination that you're looking to reach. All right. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for your time and tuning in. Peace.